Hello super user, so today is actually an update video to the large tumble markings video I posted a while back, but I actually found a new way of making sure all the tempo markings, tempo alterations are on the exact same height. So I'm just going to recreate the video and show you what I think is this new and better way. So first we're going to come in here and do large tempo markings. And as you can see, if I do a tempo marking like that, it's nice and big so it's readable in the score. And it's also at the right size for the parts. And the way you do that is quite simple. Just come up here, edit categories, and choose a fixed font size. Now what a fixed font size basically means is no matter what the size of the staff is, we're always going to get a font of 14 points font on the page. Um, and so I have the same thing for text font, music font, number fonts. They're all a fixed font size. Uh, the next thing to note is that all the main things like tempo alterations and rehearsal marks, they're all fixed font size. Ooh, that should be a fixed font size. That way, that way they all appear at good sizes on every single score and part. Hit OK, hit Assign, and ta-da, you have that. Same thing with the retardando A tempo, and if I do a rehearsal marking like that. Now that in and of itself is a really good tip that'll actually make your scores a lot better readable. But an update to last time is how I have them all on the same line this time. So coming back here, I'm going to go back to tempo marks, edit categories. Last time I said adjust. Above staff baseline or entry, I showed you a um, couple settings. Might have been those settings actually. Uh, but this time, I'm just going to do above staff baseline and we're going to set it to zero for every single one of these. This will initially move it a bit further away from the staff, but it's fine. They're all in the same height. The reason why I showed up this new method is I actually found this little box over here and figured out what it does. And essentially, what it does is this first arrow. You can drag it up or down, and it will move the line height for the parts for this on every single system, right? So if we have multiple systems here, uh, let's say we have multiple systems, and we put something over here, you could see that adjusting, adjusting it on here will adjust every single system. And if for some reason you're getting this dialog box below the staff instead of above it, just go up here to just above staff baseline. There's also below for things like dynamics and such. So you'll notice as I drag this up and down, um, at the bottom of the screen, you get to see exactly how far away the staff is from the line. So we're going to look at the last number, total offset. And I found that about 5.5 works really well. So as close as you can get to 5.5 and you'll see it's a nice distance above there and if you go to the parts it's a nice distance above in the parts. And just double check this should be the exact same 5.5 that we had it before. Now the other thing is you may remember me saying well you do above staff baseline or entry offset because let's say I have a note over here that is really high that it wants to conflict with it. Well, there's another simple solution to that, which is, which is actually the third right error over. This third one changes it only on this specific system. So you're going to want to do this step after you've adjusted the flow of all your systems. And we're going to come up here and we're just going to drag it so that way it is above that node. And they're all on the same line still. And so that'll just create better readability and consistency and gets them all on the exact same line. So that is today's tips and tricks on how you create large tempo markings in the score and the perfect size in the parts while also making sure they're all on the exact same level. And so that way you don't have to deal with those settings in every single document. I'd recommend adding those settings to your staff styles. And if you want to find more about that, I'll link a playlist on the screen, which you can see right now, and a link to a video in the description on how to get started with staff styles. So if you found this at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the latest finale tips and tricks.